Hey everyone, imagine the scenario, your boss comes over to you and she tells you that she has a meeting with her boss in 15 minutes and she needs some quick data analysis out of Excel and she asks you to do it and you start to panic because you don't know how to do it and you recognize that it's something to do with pivot tables, maybe she even mentioned that and you need to come up with some quick data analytics, so what are you going to do? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is take a deep breath. Pivot tables are extremely easy and we're gonna walk you through it here today. So welcome to Excel Level Up, where it's really about using Excel to make your job easier so you can work smarter and not harder. So let's get right into it right here. So the scenario is your boss comes to you and says, I need to understand the average invoice amount for per region, how can I do that? So let's kind of think about how pivot tables can help us with this in Excel. So first off, you need to think about pivot tables or ways to group data. So you could have just thousands or hundreds or hundreds of thousands of rows in Excel. And how can you actually pull those together to build some sort of analysis? So the first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be grouping data together. So pivot tables give you a fantastic way to group data. The second one is they perform math on the data or calculations. So you can add data, you can count data, you can look at the max, the average, the minimum. So you can do a lot of complex math or very simplistic math on that data. And then finally, you produce a report or a chart. Today, we're only going to go over a basic report, but charts kind of allow you in kind of more advanced mode to do kind of more of a wow factor and even kind of doing reports and charts. So this is really about that. If you're interested in charts, leave a comment below and I'm more than happy to do a quick tutorial on that. But the most important thing is you got this. Guarantee you don't realize it, but you already know how to do pivot tables. You just don't know what buttons to press in Excel. And I'm going to walk you through that right here. So let's kind of, once again, let's kind of take a step back and think about the example of what your boss just asked you to do. So she has this spreadsheet here. Or you've already gotten this from accounting. And it's a list of all your invoices for, let's say, the past year of who the customer is, what the date of the invoice was. You see an amount and then what sales region it is. And once again, your boss is asking you to take all of those regions and come up with the average invoice amount. So you have right here, I'm only showing, I guess it looks like about 18 rows of data, but let's just say you have thousands of rows. It's completely impossible for you to do this with a calculator or one at a time. So how can Excel do this work for you with just a few clicks of the button and ultimately turn this and plus a lot more data into something that looks like this, a real simple, simplistic report, four rows, each of the uh, sales regions are on the left, east through west, and then the average amount for each one, and then also the grand total. So you can see the average invoice across the entire organization for the year. So it's a real quick way, with just a few clicks of the button to do this. So how do we actually accomplish this right here? So now let's kind of jump into this step by step to kind of jump into how do you do it? So the first thing you have to do is you have to select your data. So let's assume you already have this spreadsheet here. It could have other columns that maybe aren't pertinent, but you, it's fine. Let's just kind of take it down to these ones right here. First thing you need to do is one, you could highlight all the rows, but that might take you a long time. And actually it's kind of prone to error when you do that, but you need to select your data. And a real quick way to select it is click somewhere in the data. I think right here, it looks like I am on cell A6. But don't worry about that. Just click somewhere in there so you can click on one of the invoice numbers or one of the customer numbers. And you need to then say, Excel, I want this is all the data that I want. So how do you do that? If you're on a Windows computer, hold down the control key. That's that button over in the lower left in your keyboard. And then while you're holding it, hit the letter A. If you're on a Mac, it's going to be the command key in the letter A. But when you do that, it's going to put a shading over all of these fields. So it effectively looks like this. So if you've done this, Thumbs up, you're on your way to doing it. So now this is telling Excel, this is all of my data that I want to analyze. And we're gonna move on to step two. So step two is now we have to tell Excel we wanna start doing a pivot table. It's my, this might vary slightly by what version of Excel you're on, but effectively you have to go up to your insert menu and you're gonna see an icon on the far left that should say pivot table. And it has that icon right there. So click on insert and then click on the pivot table icon. And when you do that, you're kicking off the process of saying, I wanna build a pivot table for all of that data that I selected in the previous step. If you do that right, you're gonna see this option right here. It's gonna start saying you're gonna create a pivot table. Now you can make changes to what you have on here, but this is almost probably 99% of the time, let's go with this. Effectively what it's doing is all that data that I've selected 
and then it's saying that I want to create a new worksheet or a new tab. You can put this anywhere you want in your spreadsheet or you can even put it in a new one. But what you want to do is actually just hit the OK button most of the time, especially if you're just doing this as a quick one, just hit OK. And if you do it, it's going to create a new tab in your spreadsheet. So let's do a quick check before we actually build it. Have we done all the right steps to date? If we've hit the OK button, what you should see now on the left hand side on the new tab, you'll see a box that says pivot table one. It may say pivot table two or three if you've already done this a couple times. Don't worry, it's just an internal name that's given to this pivot table. And on the far right side, you'll actually see what I kind of think of as like kind of the uh, command center for the pivot table. It lists all the fields in the data that we're dealing with at the top and then sees four white boxes at the bottom. And we're only gonna focus on three distinct areas on here. So we're gonna click on some data elements at the top and then we're going to be looking at the rows at the bottom and also the values on here. So that's all we're really going to have to click on or look at these three areas. We're going to ignore the filters and the columns for now, just because those are a little bit more advanced, um, depending on what you want to see. But let's start with the rows and values, because that's all we need to do to do to uh, meet the challenge our boss has asked of us. So on here, we need to select our pivot table elements. So once again, remember our boss said, I want to do this by region. So you need to think logically, okay, by region. So let's start with identifying the region. Obviously it's very easy. I see the word region here. So I'm going to check on that little white box next to the word region. And when I do that simultaneously, when I check on that and it makes it be like in black or in bolded at the top, it's going to put the word regions down in the rows by default on there. So I don't I also could drag and drop it. But the easy thing is by it knows that's probably where you want it. So it's going to automatically put region into the rows for you. And the next thing I have to do now is define what am I adding up here? Am I adding up? How many customers I have? No, I'm adding up how many invoices I have or the invoice amount. So what I'll do then is now also go back up to the top. I'm going to check. And when I do that, you'll see down in the lower right, it's going to automatically in the values area put sum of invoice amount. Now we don't want to add this up and that's what some will do. We don't want to add up the invoices for this one. We're going to do the average, but effectively though, right now we have built and completed a pivot table. So now if you look over in the left, that other section that we saw blank. This where you see all the regions listed and now you'll see it says sum of invoice amount and it has all the amounts and puts a grand total at the bottom. So really congrats. You have now built your first pivot table and you're done. However, once again, I wanted to go one step further and do the average or more likely my boss wanted to see the average. She wasn't interested in seeing the total. So now we have to go in the system and say, no, I know you by default, you wanted to add it up. I want to see the average. So we're going to go back now over to the area on the right. On you'll see sum of invoice amount. You'll see that little black, I guess, upside down triangle. We're going to click on that. And then that's going to pull up another menu of saying, how do you want to sum up or what do you want to do with the values here? So it's going to look like this and you'll see in blue where it's highlighting sum. I wanted to see how many invoices I had total. I could just hit count and that would just add up how many invoices for each region there were for the time period. But in this case, I want to do average. So what I'll do is I'll click on average and hit the OK button. Done. So instead of seeing that top box where it says sum of invoice amount, now in the bottom, it's going to say the average. So now I've taken it to the average and actually for this one, I even took it one step further and I formatted it by dollar amount. So you can see on here that in less than eight minutes from the request from my boss, I actually got this. And one thing you'll find in practice, really, this probably would only take you about 30 to 40 seconds once your boss told you this, give you plenty of time to go grab a cup of coffee, make it look like you worked really hard, just copy and paste this out, drop it into an email, and then she can go have her meeting with the boss and then she's happy as well. So that's really about it, guys. That's the simple steps of going from a request from your boss to producing an easy calculation that is impossible to do by hand, but Excel does it for you. And once again, it's all about working smarter, not harder. If you're still here, thank you very much. Please give me any feedback below if this worked for you, if it didn't work for you, if there's other topics that you would want to see. Like I said, I'm going to probably do a video next that kind of shows about how to do a chart to kind of help you um, even tell the story even that much better. But just love hearing feedback to understand if this helped you in your job. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and best of luck in your future task in Excel.